This is Jennifer at the Gretna Public Library, and today I'm going to show you four crafts that you can do with your kids using paper towel or, or toilet paper tubes. Since April 22nd is Earth Day, uh, we're going to avoid some of the craft supplies that is not so good for the environment, such as googly eyes or plastic beads. We're not using those today. Instead, we're using um, the toilet paper or paper towel tubes, cereal boxes, glue, paint, and a few other other items as well. The first step in uh, most of these crafts is to paint your tubes. And so what I recommend doing is watching the video, painting your tubes, and then coming back and finishing the video as you work on your project. If you're watching on YouTube, we've made that easier for you by putting timestamps in the description. That way you can jump around if you need to. Uh, you'll also find the supplies list in the comments or in the description as well. So let's get started with our crafts. are great but we're going to start by cutting our tubes into slices. To make a flower I chose to paint one of my tubes green to make leaves and the other one pink to make petals. I also have a popsicle stick painted green for the stem. If you don't have any popsicle sticks you can cut a stem out of another tube or just paint one on. Finally I painted a background on the inside of a piece of cardboard cut from a cereal box. I gave it a little bit of scenery here. If your cereal box gets warped like mine, you can flatten it out under a stack of books. The first thing you need to do is cut up your tubes. Flatten your tube and using a sharp pair of scissors cut it into slices. I got about 9 out of mine. After that, it's easy. Just let your child arrange the slices until they have a pattern they like and then use glue to set them in place. If your child's not into flowers, that's fine. Make a bunch of slices and see what they can come up with by themselves. And ta-da, you've got a flower. This next craft is another simple one that is a perfect addition to your child's dress up box. Let your child paint their tubes how they'd like. Here I've painted mine gold with the Wonder Woman red star. Now we'll cut them to fit. Start with a straight cut up the long way. Get rid of those sharp edges by cutting a big curve. Here's the first one, now I just have to do the rest. This will make them more comfortable. And there we go, we've got a cuff. Of course, it's a little small for my arm, but if it's too big for your child, you can cut it down. And now your child's ready to save the world. Our third craft is another great option for imaginative play. For one car, you'll need a toilet paper roll that has been painted and decorated, a little steering wheel made from some extra cardboard or another tube, and some lids of some sort. Today I've got two lids from vitamin bottles and two milk jug lids. I've also seen these cars made from the caps from those squeezable pouches. We're going to start by using an X-Acto knife to cut three sides of a rectangle onto the top of your car. Give it a bit of a crease where it's still attached, fold it in half, and then tuck it in. You can then glue that down so it doesn't flap. There is our driver's seat. Let's add our wheels next. I just need to hot glue my two wheels on the front. There are the front two, now let's do the back. And then finally you can add your steering wheel. When you cut the cab of your car, you'll want to make sure your steering wheel fits. 
All right, we've got our car, and now you can make a whole fleet of racers. Our last project is more like a game and is perfect for older kids. You might need a couple tubes for this. I have some colored tape that I'm going to use instead of painting them, but using paint or markers would certainly work if you were also using packing tape to tape them down. We're going to make our game with a cereal box today, probably the biggest cereal box you could find, but a box lid from a paper box would also work perfectly. First, let's prep our box. I've already taped it shut on the top and the bottom, but we need to take off either the front panel or the back panel. You'll probably want to reinforce the corners with a bit more tape. Now we have our base. Next, let's add the tunnels. Cut your tubes in half the long way so you have two pieces. And then cut them in half again so you have four. Let your child arrange the tunnels in the box as they like and then tape them down. I'm going to use a different color of tape for each one. Make sure that when you tape down the first one, your marble has enough space to go through. Here's my marble. Let's test it. Yep, that works. And now we'll add the other tunnels. And there you have it. A marble maze that kids can use to roll their marble around just by using the edge of the box. You can make it more of a challenge by giving them a certain color order to do the tunnels in. That's all the crafts I have for you today. There are tons of fun ideas for using paper towel tubes and toilet paper tubes and other recyclables to make arts, crafts, games, even science experiments. We even have books about those types of ideas. You can check them out from the library if you're interested. Use these ideas as a jumping off point for sparking your child's imagination. Happy Earth Day!